All Click Cloud users can create automations from the hub by clicking the Add New button, then New Automation. Automation templates are pre-built automations that you can use out of the box with minimal configuration. Templates also help you see the logic of a certain workflow. You can customize a template by swapping out automation and connector blocks while keeping the same design of the template. Some of the common business workflow templates include automatically reload your apps, Trigger alerts and messages on common communication platforms. Manage your master items across apps. React to reload failures. Backup apps to external storage locations. Templates are organized by recently used and favorites. To add a template to your favorites, hover over the template tile and click the star icon. You can search templates by using the categories or connector filters. Most of the templates include connectors that integrate third-party cloud applications and services. To use those connectors, you must authenticate the connection. When you select Use Template, it opens the Automation Editor. When you add a template to the Automation Canvas, most blocks are pre-configured with field mapped inputs from the preceding blocks. However, you will want to verify and adjust each block as required. You can edit the automation by adding or removing blocks. For this example, remove one of the reload blocks. Each template has a specific workflow and requires a unique configuration. In this example, you'll configure a template to reload multiple apps in parallel. On the input section for each do reload block, enter the app ID for the app you want to reload. Use the Do Lookup function to find your app ID. Select the Wait for Reloads to Complete block. The Reload IDs field is pre-filled with the output from the Do Reload blocks. If you added or removed blocks, adjust the inputs. In this example, you removed a block, so we're going to remove it from the Reload IDs field. Select the Condition block. The condition is pre-configured to watch for a status equals failed returned from any of the reload blocks. You can adjust this condition as needed. For this example, leave the condition as is. Select the output block. This block is executed on the yes branch of the condition. This means that if one of the reload blocks fails, the output block is executed. It is pre-configured with a message. For this example, leave the output as is. Select the error block. This block is pre-configured to stop the automation if a reload fails. For this example, leave the error as is. The no branch of the condition is empty. Add an output block to this branch. Clear the data to output field and enter a reload successful message. In this case, we add the message your app reloads were successful. Click Save. As you can see, we received an invalid block error message because we didn't add the app ID for the do reload to block. So we select the do reload block and we add the app ID we want to reload in parallel. Now we can save the app without any error message and we can run the automation. As the automation executes, the output section opens. You should see the message that corresponds to the status of the parallel app reloads. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.